Hi, my name is Dr. Todd Rowe. I would like to share a few tips on the homeopathic medicine, Natrum Muriaticum. Before I start, I'd just like to say that nothing in this material should be used to diagnose, cure, prescribe, or treat any illness. Please consult your homeopathic practitioner for treatment options. Natrum muriaticum is sodium chloride or table salt. Um, this is a homeopathic medicine that is used very commonly, especially for constitutional problems. But I'd like to share some of its acute usages um, today. Sodium chloride or table salt is an ubiquitous substance around the world today. The United States is the largest producer of salt. And here in the desert um, and desert regions around the world, salt is a rare commodity and can be more valuable in, than gold and used to be used as currency instead of coinage. Salt enhances taste and um, helps people modulate their fluid balance in their body. Um, it's largely gathered from salt deposits, but also from the ocean. And there is so much salt on the earth that it's likely there will never be problems with a shortage. It's been said that a leaf or a lazy workman, that they are not worth their salt. And has been used historically to help preserve things in life. In homeopathy, as I mentioned, there is a very broad and rich range of chronic problems that this remedy treats. But today I'm just going to focus on some of the acute usages, which include cold sores and canker sores, or apathy of the mouth. Also a very useful remedy for upper respiratory infections, and useful for acute treatment of headaches. Natrum muriaticum can be used for grief, particularly that stems from emotional vulnerability, and can be a very useful remedy for acute back pain. Typically, people who need this homeopathic medicine are warmer and worse from heat and better from cold. They often are worse from sun and sunlight and have to wear sunglasses all the time. They are worse around 10 a.m. in the morning. Also, their complaints frequently come on periodically, and they feel better from perspiration. As I mentioned, it's one of our main remedies in treating headaches, and you can use this acutely for migraines, particularly ones that come on after light, exposure to light and sun, or reading, or are worse at 10 a.m. or come on after some kind of grief. Also, the headaches in Natrum muriaticum typically are worse on the right side of the head. Natrum muriaticum is useful for hay fever and colds, uh, upper respiratory infections, where the discharge has a whitish egg white consistency. And often these colds begin with profuse sneezing. Accompanying their colds and allergies are oftentimes cold sores around the lips, also canker sores of the mouth, the gums, and the tongue. Frequently, there is a lot of lacrimation or tearing of the eyes, which is especially worse from windy weather. And oftentimes, they will get visual problems before their headache. Another symptom that is characteristic of Nature Muriaticum is a sensation of a lump in the throat, and this typically will accompany their grief. Nature muriaticum patients typically are very thirsty, typically for ice cold drinks. It's a remedy that can be used also for acute colitis, constipation alternating with diarrhea. It also can be used acutely for stress incontinence. People are having trouble losing their urine when they cough or they sneeze. 
As I mentioned, it's a useful remedy for acute low back pain, particularly when there is the symptom that they are better from lying against something hard. Also, it's a useful remedy for insomnia, difficulty sleeping, as well as cracking of the nails. Two remedies that you can compare this to include Ignatia Amara, which is also a very useful remedy for acute grief, and Sepia, which is the ink of the cuttlefish. You can order this homeopathic medicine at orders at amcfh.org. Also, if you'd like to know more about this homeopathic medicine or other acute care homeopathic medicines, you can learn about our acute care program at acutecare at amcfh.org. Thank you very much.